What's up everybody? My name is Spencer and this is American Electrician. In today's video we're going to be covering some basics of light switches, how to wire in them and how to install them. If you're new to the channel, welcome. On this channel we do electrical how-to's as well as gear reviews such as hand tools, power tools, and tool storage. So if that's something you guys are interested in, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. But for now, let's get started. All right, so this is my demonstration here. Um, obviously your studs are gonna be further apart than this. They should be 16 to center um, in most places. Now, this monster can over here is going to represent your power. Um, and we'll start from left to right. This will represent your power. Um, so it'll either, if it's a new feed, it'll come directly from your panel. Uh, if these were existing lights, then there should have been a power cable that would already come in. And this is the constant hot, okay? Now, it comes from the constant hot to the switch, right? And this is where the switch breaks off power from the constant hot to the light. That is what turns your lights on and off. So there's constantly power in this switch, but it breaks this from one side to the other to go through to the light bulb. So your lights are either on or off. Okay. So that's how a switch works, but you'll need one wire. And this is 14 two, by the way, when you go to pick it up, either 14 two or 12 two Romex, uh, or I'm sorry, NM cable depending on where you're buying it from. But it goes into the switch from here and then switch breaks it and it goes to the light. So you'll need one wire in, for t that is your power. And if you have multiple switches, there's still only one power that's needed. Um, they'll just feed each switch individually. So there's constant power on each of them. And then it'll go from constant power to your light and in your light fixture, obviously this is not a real light fixture. Um, this is not how light bulbs are hooked up. So please don't try this at home. This is an example, but your light fixture will have a black, a white and a bare wire and you'll match black to black, white to white and uh, ground to ground. Now we'll take a closer look at how to actually hook up this light switch. All right, now it's important to note that there's only two sets of wires that are coming in here. So there's two blacks, two whites, and two bare grounds, all right? So this is this is pretty easy, but this is the important part as well. Okay, so your neutrals will come in here, both of your white wires, these are your neutrals. So this is what the power that is used comes back to the power source on. Um, so they'll meet up in here in the switch. You'll, you'll strip them, um, and then wire nut them together. They won't touch the switch at all. Okay. They'll go straight from your power source to your light. Your grounds here will both come together and you'll get a grounding pigtail, which is just a short amount of wire that you can cut from your Romex. Or if you're in a commercial environment, just another piece of THHN, you'll strip it off. You'll put it around the green screw at the bottom of the switch, okay? It's on the other side of the power. And then on this side of the switch, since it's just a single pole switch and it's one in and one out, you'll land one black wire to one terminal and then one black wire to the other. It doesn't matter which one you land which one to. Either way, it cuts off in the middle here. So if it's up top or if it's on the bottom, which, whichever one, it separates it when you flip that switch off, okay? So if you guys didn't quite catch that, if you guys need to repeat that, just go ahead and rewind. But it is not very complicated. Unless there's more than one switch in there, it can get a little bit tricky to see which wires go where. But you always have to remember that you have a constant power. And then on the other end, you have your your light the wire that goes to the light that way when the switch flips it breaks the connection to the light then when it's all said and done you'll jam your wires back in there and put your screws in your 632s um, 
into these little holes up here on the top and on the bottom. All right, so at that point, your switch is made up. There's one wire coming in, which is the power. There's the wire going out that goes to the light. And your switch here is what breaks the two, which turns your lights on and off. So those are just the basics of switches. It's not a three-way, it's not multiple switches. Uh, we will get into that here soon. But for today, this is what I wanted to explain. So if this helped you guys out at all to understand switching, uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe for more information like this. I know that it wasn't super in depth, but that wasn't the goal. I just wanted to get the basics out there. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you guys on the next one.